Today on television, the NBC Bay Area News out of San Francisco, San Jose, um, waterfoot.org had a spokesperson making a point that vegetables use a lot of water. One tomato uses about 300 and something gallons, and the others are around that area, strawberry and so on, apples are around that same amount. But what's the point? And I mean, does that fruit that weighs maybe a quarter pound use so many gallons? Well, to comfort the figures, uh, they will say all this water was used in irrigating this uh, acreage of land that a certain tomato, you know, uh, uh, farm is. And then they will calculate how many tomatoes they have and divide among the water by each tomato, by one tomato, and then say, well, by the number, total number of tomatoes, and so they'll get what one tomato will use. And so I guess that's how they came from it. But somewhere along the line, they're insinuating that it's so cost, it's not cost effective to do the tomatoes or the strawberries or whatever. Some individuals were interviewed and they were saying that in spite of all the water, we need a variety and I eat the fruit, don't worry about what it uses and whatever. So I'm not sure if they the whole process is to scare folks from planting it or whatever. And talking about water scarce, etc. So what to do? The point is that when you put all that water up there in the uh, field, much of it seeps back into the soil, gets into the water stream, some evaporates into the atmosphere and some the plant uses. I guess maybe a fraction of the water that is used is actually used by the plant. But then you come down to what among how much uh, water actually makes that fruit. Well, if the whole fruit would be a quarter pound, you can't say that it would take 20 pounds of water to make that. It has to be less because there are other things that are involved in the making that um, quarter pound of fruit. But statistically, I guess it's good to come for that. Nevertheless, individuals are coming up with studies that somehow is somehow trying to suggest us that we should change the way we do things. You have uh, an individual who said that dogs are smarter than like, toddlers. Now, this is a ridiculous study. Who cares? I mean, why would one want to study that anyway? So what are you going to recommend? I guess individuals need to, you know, make sure that they study the high school and college work, remember it, think thoroughly, and then come up with some proposals that would make sense. And as a content, I will say that although you use all that water, yes, that's the amount of water you use, but actually that's, that's the, um, the general amount of water, but the specific amount that used to make this fruit is just so minimal. But if we don't use the water in ways like this, um, I don't know what would happen. The, I mean, plants do the transpiration. It helps to, in the climate control, makes the place cool. You know, when you go into the forest, it's cooler than away because the water vapor in the air that is you know, coming up from the soil and also is kind of being used by the plants in the transpirational pool and it's dropping back and makes it real cool and nice. So I'm not sure what the point this person is trying to